What's up guys, we are day two at the auto hobby. Got the rear end out of the car again. Got three out of the four uh, subframe bushings out. We've been having to press the centers out, then cut them for some relief, and then hammer the F out of them to get them out. But we got four of those, we got one left. Got the other two out, and then we'll put these new bushings in for the rear. Real nice, real, real nice. And then uh, we'll put the subframe back in and we'll take the diff out, do the three diff bushings and the new gasket for this, because that's, that's no bueno, but uh, yeah, fun. Ow! It's a lot less force than what I am at. Shit. Enjoying yourself. How does this make you feel? Never doing this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got those. We still got to do the diff. We still got to do trailing arm bushings, but they shouldn't be too bad. Talk about a pain in the butt, but they're on. We're all in. Except for the diff. We're about to try and. Trying to do the diff while it's down here. If not, I think we have to put everything back in the car and then do the diff. We got one, two, there's a third one. Right here. Not too sure. Well, didn't get to record too much uh, on the time crunch, but we got it done uh, for the most part. Still gonna have to come back and do the uh, differential bushings, motor mounts, and then when she gets coilovers to do the, uh, the strut um, mounts as well. Um, it wasn't too bad, it wasn't too too bad at all. The tool, all the tools we rented and got, none of them worked. We had to rig everything. Um, use the saws all and all that to get the old bushings out, but the new ones went in smooth. Didn't the subframe in. It's, it seems like the hundredth time I've done it now, so even though it's only a second, but this shit's pretty easy. It's just time consuming. Um, we'll be back in like a week or two. Do those other bushings. Um, maybe we'll do it next weekend. Actually, the weekend after that, I'm getting my uh, my fuel kit on. My uh, tuning stuff should be here soon. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> so we're home and uh, cleaned up the interior, got all the pieces back together, got the new exhaust on. This exhaust has been sitting for uh, for a few weeks now. What's it called again? <laughs> you don't know? You don't remember? No. Oh, well, I'll write it down Rogue here. Engineering. Rogue. Yeah, Rogue Engineering, that's what it was, yeah. But she's gonna start it up here for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Lifting it up, especially on this Alright, we'll start this bitch up. She's been running around with no muffler for like weeks now, so we're hoping it's nice and loud and sounds sweet. Alright. It's not really a cold start either. It's been. That's probably been like an hour and a half, two hours. Getting that launch control ready. Doing pretty darn good with blown struts.
It's my girl. Come on. Perfect. Rear wheel drive. Rear -wheel yeah. Drive. All right, hit it. Here we go. Front tires need to go away. <laughs> that was that was tight though. That was good. Who was it? 49.3. Not bad. Maxing out first gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does it feel though? Yeah, fun. Better, than, better the, than the other one. <laughs> way better than the 320. That's an M3 for you. So proud. <laughs>